Today I decided to transform an entire village since I've kind of been exploring the villagers lately. Look, I just occasionally throw villagers in six feet deep holes with no exposure to sunlight. It's not even that bad, alright? My goal for this village is to build a dock, transform this island, and build a wall to keep the villagers safe. Starting with the dock, the idea of the dock is to have an area for fishing and walking right above the water. I began by adding an area of spruce planks along the cliffside. Now I want to expand the dock into the sea, so... There we go, and now let's destroy this villager house real quick. I might have just stolen an entire house, but I'm a good guy, trust me. Now, the reason I stole this entire house was to build new ones. Yes, I'm not that mean to villagers after all, am I? Yeah, that looks absolutely awful right now, but trust the process, alright? Well, now I'm just gonna add another one right next to it, and I will eventually replace the stone, alright? This one's shape turned out to be very interesting, which is a good thing, by the way. But now let's finally start replacing this ugly ass stone. Definitely gonna take some of this. And now let's do the same with the second one. Now I'm gonna take some of this. Now we're talking, that looks kind of like a village. Also, this is how I check my shulker boxes while building. Comment down below if you're faster. How about I'm just gonna build for a bit and see where things go. Okay, I just have to build a house on the right boulder. Now let's stack this up a few blocks. It's kind of missing the roof. Um, that's definitely not right. Nope. Ah, uh, diagonals are weird. I mean, it always kind of works once you add in random shading. Can't forget the chimney. Some leaves, a window and a door, and there we go. Did I just accidentally place a door in the house? First time seeing that. Then I went a bit crazy on a terraforming, and that was basically all I did for day one. I started day two off by building this nice little beach next to the village. Then I built an entire house off camera, and that's how we ended up here. So I think I want to start actually planning out the build. But first of all, I have to destroy all of these houses. So, um, bullish destroy montage. Right now I need a ton of acacia because I have started building a little bit on this house and I really want to add in some acacia on the roof. That looks good. Now let's grab some of this and detail the walls. That looks nice but I still have left some stone on the bottom so let's change that. Let's start adding some detail on this wall, then some mud and there we go. Now I've kind of gotten a little bit carried away and instantly started building again but now let's actually plan all of this out of stone. Since we already planned out the buildings, let's do the walls as well. And now we just have to stack all of this up a few blocks. Now let's take some of this and let's tackle the centerpiece of our village. So right now this looks like a tower, but I want to transform this entire thing into windmills, so let's add some blades. Do you call them blades? I mean, they kind of look like blades. That seems alright, but we definitely have to replace all of that stone. Now, since we have three floors on this tower, I want to have the top one white, the middle one grey, and the bottom one black, which creates a pretty mid-color gradient. Now, the tower looks nice, but it's definitely missing some details. That looks nice. Wait, what? What the f- Oh my god, uh, I should probably fix that. Yup, now let's continue. Now I want to have some roads going through the entire village so, you know, they, they don't have to walk on nature. That looks like roads, kind of. Now some of you might have noticed that I didn't build the full windmill since we still have this kind of entrance thingy, so let's quickly build that. Now with the gate to the windmill build up, let's actually build the gate to the entire village. That is starting to look like a gate tower. Now we definitely need to add a bit more to it. I don't know if I like the cartoony vibes of the tower, cause, well, it looks pretty good from afar, but in the village it looks like shit. Yeah, no, we're definitely changing it. I'm not quite sure how though, so let's focus on this wall for now. 
There it is. Oh, wait a minute. Now it's done. I think I'm gonna change it into a really plain and simple tower design. This might not be the most interesting shape, but texturing always helps. Now with the first tower complete, let's build the old gate where we want to connect this tower to a sort of castle. Replicating the same tower design like this. Now let's build a bridge to connect these two towers. Now let's start by figuring out the main shape of the castle. That's definitely too short. Well, actually, since we're going to add a roof on it, it should be fine. So let's start adding a tower. We should probably fill in the walls just like that. And now let's add a roof on it. Well, the roof, I'm going to use warp wood because it looks nice. I mean, it does look nice for sure. Jesus Christ, what is going on with these zombies? Anyways, what I was trying to say is this build is definitely missing some details. So let's fix that. Also, can we quickly appreciate how much we've done already? I mean, this is kind of starting to look good now. Anyways, let's fix this bland wall by adding another tower. Alright, this will look way better once we add in windows and texture. Told you. Now, I kind of want to add a flag on the castle because it'll look better on the thumbnail. Now, I really want to terraform this cliff over here because, let's face it, it looks disgusting. So, let's start by doing some of this, some of that, and there we go. Alright, this might not look great, but I don't care for now, alright? Now, let's grab some sand because I kind of really want to break from the village. So, let's start by transforming this entire island and maybe we'll get back to it afterwards. Now, first of all, I want to add in some dunes into the sand because it's literally an island in the middle of the ocean. There has to be some waves crashing into the sand and moving it, right? Now, for the right side, I want to add in some moss because just look at how much space we have. There we go, but I feel like it's missing one thing. Palm trees. We just have to add some palm trees. Now, the palm trees will be pretty similar to once I build up my main base, so let's take some mud walls and let's build them. Now, we just need to find out if turtles will chill on this island. So, I built a second palm and yes, one actually appeared. I mean, at least one turtle likes this island. I mean, before I recreated this island, there were like five, but, but we don't care about that. One turtle likes this island, alright? Why is there a field in this house? Um, it's gone now, but for some reason, the villagers keep starving. Anyways, let's just continue building this house. Anyways, I want this house to be a farmer house since it was literally on the field, so let's build some pretty big pots with some plants outside the house. Then we built some walls, a roof, and the house is finished. Right now, the inside of the village is pretty boring since we have a lot of open space, so why don't we just slap a giant oak tree in here? Now, these two buildings in the back, I've kind of always seen as shops, so let's quickly build them up. The first one I've always kind of envisioned as a bakery, so gotta have that giant window in the front. Now, the second one is just there for company, so let's get some mud and start building. Now let's detail the wall a bit. Now I do have to admit that I really don't know what I'm doing right now with this build. I genuinely have no vision for this. So um, let's just throw a roof on it and there it is. All right, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know what this is, but I'm sure we can fix it, all right? Three hours later. Nope, we couldn't. What even is this? Anyways, moving on. As you can see, the village is about 70% complete, I'd say. But we're still missing a good amount of houses, so let's start with this left one. This time, I'm not just going to replace the stone, I'm actually going to use it for once, because I feel like we should at least build one building out of stone. I mean, we've literally used it the entire time, so... That should be high enough, but I want to have a pretty steep roof, and warning, this building will be a totally different building style than everything else, so I'm not sure how well it'll fit with everything, but it'll be fine. Now, let's focus on the building right next to it for which i want to take some inspiration of the og house with the pretty interesting roof design starting off with stone as always oh my god this is looking so weird but trust me it's perfect all right that's all we need now for the roof i want to incorporate a bit more red since it's kind of getting overthrown by the blue right now now for the walls we gotta jump down in the caves and absolutely destroy this deal and back to replacing the stone that i just placed some of the walls i actually kept as stone but did a bit of texturing added a chimney and then called it a day so while building i came to the realization that we should definitely add some fences to our wall now next up i want to tackle this area since i think I think it has a lot of potential, so let's see what we can do with it.
As you can see, I built this giant field, and now I just have to grind seeds for an hour, I guess. Uh, no, no, that's not a joke. I, I actually have to grind seeds for an hour now. One hour later. It's finally done. I just want to surround all of this with leaves. Moving on, I want to replace these two oak trees with some palm trees, because they're literally on the beach. And we might as well have one right here, because palm trees are great. All right, all right, I'll stop. That's enough palms for now. Am I the only one who builds these giant towers of strip wood while building? All right, I was planning to pop my totem for this scene, but Bella Falling is way too OP, I guess. Anyways, as you can see, the villagers have a pretty nice plaza, I'd call it. And I need a custom tree in there. Which shouldn't be that hard of a task, so... After building the custom tree, I spent some time fixing up pathways, building bridges, and all that kind of stuff. So right now, I'm trying to make a pathway actually lead up to the gateway of the village. And while doing so, I kind of realized that I really want to have the path be surrounded by buildings on the other side as well. So let's start by actually fixing up whatever this is. Honestly, that's the best I'll do, and I just realized that we won't see the second tower anyway, since it'll be blocked off by the buildings we're about to build. So, um, how about we just get right into it? There we go, it's a pretty simple diagonal. Now let's slap the second one right next to it. Yup, there it is. How about we start with some wooden pillars, add some calcite, and since I haven't used bamboo wood once for the entire time, let's use it for the roof. Also, yeah, the house is done, so let's move on to this one. Let's take some granite and other similar blocks. Now let's just replace all of this. Also, yeah, we should probably build the back as well. Let's grab some spruce planks, and let's make a pretty simple spruce roof. I mean, it's basically the only thing that works with diagonals. And with this house done, I think we can call the village finished. And if you like this video, I'll guarantee you, you'll like my last one. So go ahead and watch how I built the Great Pyramid of Giza in Hardcore Minecraft.